Okay, so now we're looking at the 168. I could just kick myself for not noticing it before. I seriously wonder if some of this shouldn't be um, sub 7. Okay, in other words, you know, you got your 7 here at 119. And I didn't check all this to see if you broke it by clause, but it looks like you're trying to. I think you did. But if you like added 8 to 10, well that's 18, so that's not divisible by 7. Okay, plus 5 is 23, that's not divisible by 7, that kind of thing. Until you see, well maybe, like here, you've got it at 16. Maybe you break it before the chi and see if it'll sub 7. Okay, in other words... I can see why you did it at 16 and I'm not really sure, no, probably not. No, because see, those two fit together. I see why you didn't do the chi there. Okay, sorry. Um, just looking at it now, is there any place that sticks out? God, just a quick thought. No, no, I think you parsed it okay. Okay, just, just have a look to see if you might want to reparse it you know you're, where you're breaking your clauses it looks basically I don't know that I could improve on what you've got here but check your rolling totals okay like 8 and then 10 is 18 and 5 that's 23 and then 23 33 and 6 is 39 so that's still not yet divisible by 7 okay but notice here it is see 39 here and then it becomes 49 but this isn't really the best place to parse it okay you really probably ought to add that 9 to the 10 here to make that 19 because because the chi phrase here okay really fits together with megala megala all right it's all part of the same I mean, it's, it's okay that you broke it, but we can't say, well, now that equals 49, and so we can break it there. No, because we got this hanging chad syntax left here. So, really, it's 19, not 10. All right. And then, of course, you got I do not time, blah, blah, blah. So, it, it looks like it's okay. I don't know, therefore, that we can sub seven it I don't see two eighty fours but one sixty eight equals eighty four plus eighty four so assuming that there's no sub seven that I've missed why would Christ talk in one solid block a book ended eighty fours well again because that would be like a characteristic of the time rather than a specific timeline it's a characteristic of the time like theme would call it historical trends and what's the historical trend here well up here it was fleeing and persecution okay mild you know disdain versus outright persecution like under Diocletian or in some countries in the Arab countries today um, here it's a different kind of you know um, attempt to beguile or catch us here it's oh the Christ has returned you know the Herald camping thing Christ has returned he's here he's there he's everywhere like the Scarlet Pimpernel you know so that that would be bracketed by 284's is almost satirical because 84, of course, is what Psalm 90 verse 4 was. The Lord is really playing on Psalm 90 in Genesis here. It's amazing how much. Because Psalm 90 verse 4 is what? A day of the Lord is a thousand years. And the day of the Lord is symbolized by what? The Lord returning. So he's here. It's the day of the Lord now. You know, that's the whole theme of this whole paragraph. So that he would double it at 284 is, is kind of funny it's definitely satire I can see where Paul gets his satire but I don't know that you can say that these are like syllable by year accountings that we saw like in Daniel or Isaiah or Paul you know in Ephesians or to a certain extent in um, 
Psalm 90, you know, that second track where it's playing on the book of Judges. I don't see any of that syllable by year accounting going on here. It looks like it's just trance. Now, you know, you see that I'm wrong and I'm all wet. Well, God's obviously hired you to do this chapter. Tell me why I'm wrong. I'm always happy to know that. Okay? But anyway, that's what I see. Is I see it being a satirical, generic, hi, here's the trend for the age. Oh, Christ is going to return. The day of the Lord has come. Psalm 90 verse 4 is playing. Because that was the 84 syllables. You know, at the end of Psalm 90 verse 4, it was 84 syllables. So that's why he's doubling it here. Christ, double nature, God, man, ha, ha. That's why I think that's going on here. But I could be wrong. So let me know. And then that leaves 189, and the difference between 189 and 168 is 21. 21 is the number of growth that's been used ever since. You, you know this already, Jacob and Laban. So now he's going to link it, uh, you know, officially with Flipsis. So... Yeah, we grow due to adversity, but this is like the doubling of the 84 again. So is the 21 like in the middle? Is it at the end? Is it at the beginning? So again, you want to look at your clauses and see if there's any sub sevening that needs to be done. I don't, there's nothing that's jumping out at me. It looks like you did the clauses right, but maybe I missed something. You know, we're both tired. It's always really hard to do this. It doesn't look like it's hard, but it ends up being hard. So, you know, take a look at the sub sevening and see if we've got any, you know, shorter blocks in there than just 189. Because it seems to me like there ought to be to tell us where the 21 is. Because he's clearly playing on 168. You know, he's just adding 21 to it. Okay, why is he adding 21? Where is it? And is there anything, you know, in the wording that kind of, you know, is a ha-ha, you know, play on it? Because it could be, you know, like here maybe even. Oh, the Lord is coming in the clouds, yes, yay. Okay, you know, all that Harold Camping junk. I got more I want to say on this, but I'm a little tired of talking right now, so I'm just going to hang it up for the moment and come back later. Where's the button I hit to turn it off?